This is a demonstration of Vision Engineering's new Dimension 1 package. This is a markup or annotation and dimensioning software. Let's have a look at the basic annotation and markup functionality. We have this image of a red block and we're going to annotate or mark up some of the elements. On the bottom toolbar we have the ability to draw either a rectangle or a circle. I'm going to draw a rectangle. I'm going to mark up this area of damage on the screen. We can then select this particular screen and change the color using the color wheel here uh, to whatever color gives the best contrast. I'm just going to do the same thing over here on a second area of damage. Uh, we need to add a little text so we can actually see what the problem is. We will draw an outline here select the box and then enter whatever the problem is. In this case it scratches. We can then make this text bigger by using the button here and we can make the box bigger by stretching it using the mark here. Uh, once we've done this we may want to annotate a couple of other defects on the part and we also have the facility use an arrow facility which we can mark up. So we select the arrow from the toolbar down here and draw on the screen. We can again select and change the color using the color wheel if we require. I will do the same thing with this second defect over here. Once we've done that and we've made all the markups or annotations that we'd like to do, we can use this key here and this allows us to either print out to a printer or maybe save it as a JPEG, a bitmap or a PNG file or finally we can just email it to somebody. The second part of this package is to do with dimensioning. So I'm going to have a new part and I will take a new snap of this part so we can now do some basic dimensioning. To dimension, select this icon here. In this case we're going to dimension a line. So I'll click here. I'm going to measure the line along the top by simply entering between two and nine points. For speed I will just take four points along the top here. Click on the green arrow here and we get the information about the line which is an angle. As before, we can select another color if required. We will now measure a second line, the one on the right. Again, I select the line from the icon at the bottom, and this time just take a couple of points. Select that line and change the color if required. Once we have now got these two lines, we can find the angle between them. To achieve this, you select the angle icon, select line 1, then select line 2. The information is then shown in the green arrow here. As you can also see, the angle is shown between the two lines. We can also dimension a circle. So we click on the circle icon at the bottom here on the toolbar and again we can use between 3 and 9 points. For speed we will take 4 points here. As you can see, now this is done, it shows you the size of the circle and you can see here its diameter. If you look up here, you can see the x and y coordinates of the circle if required. Finally in this demonstration we are going to construct a distance. We will select the circle and the line and click done. We now get an immediate dimension. Now again if we look up on the right here we can see the X and Y lengths or distances as well and if you click on them you can actually have them on the part view. At the moment you will see this is the center of the circle of the top line. If you click on this icon on the bottom called the Change Type key, you can see we can have the shortest distance or make it the longest distance. In this case, we're going to select the shortest distance. From here, we can also rename the picture file. So I'm going to name this file Red Block. And you can see that this updates in the list of the features on the right hand side and also gives you the pixel size as well. How do I display all this information clearly? Well, we have this key 
called the opacity key. This allows us to actually fade from either the part only or fully over to the dimensional information only in this nice easy slider. We just select the point where you would like to see the right mix between the part and the data. At this point I can then save it, email or print as before and you can take multiple positions and multiple snapshots and save them in different um, opacity figures to give you the best picture. This is a basic function of the Vision Engineering's new Dimension software package.